Hola, buenos dias, mis amigos. Thank you so much for stopping by and joining me for another planner video. It's your girl, Four Lizard, aka Miss Daniela, and I'm here in a new setup, new filming location, new house, new phone. Who this? I have been away for a little bit. I think I took a, like a two to three week break. I don't even remember how to film anymore. I have been so incredibly busy. I moved, I moved to a completely new house in a completely different city, still in Southern California, still in San Diego County, but different city in San Diego. I'm not, I'm no longer in San Diego city. I'm in North County now in a different city, but it was such a whole process, you know, you know, and on top of that, my sister and her wife came to visit uh, right in the middle of the move, which we didn't plan that, it just kind of happened. And so I was dealing with family, it was my mom's 50th birthday, so family, celebrations, moving, uh, work was crazy, I got a new job. <laughs> so I have been completely clocked out. Um, and I have been using my planner throughout it, of course, like this is how I, you know, keep my life in order, but I definitely haven't been in it as much as I was before everything happened. So this is going to be interesting. This is going to be a flip through and a little bit of a plan with me as well, because there are a couple of things in here that I want to kind of um, check off and also uh, kind of like note down. But mostly this is going to be a flip through of my November setup for all of my planners in my Mega Franken Happy Planner. This is a behemoth. She is a colossal. She is part one of my solar system. Right now I'm so into the Happy Planner and I'm just living my Happy Planter planter happy planter oh my goodness so this is part one um of my two part uh happy planner solar system this is just like the inner planets <laughs> the outer planets go in another mega happy planner but this one is my main baby she is um the one that i use the most often she has my work stuff my household stuff my budget more like functional uh stuff in here so i tend to be in her a lot more than the other one and um, yeah, this one I was in a bit more throughout the craziness, and then the other one was kind of a lot. It was left to the wayside a little bit more so. But I just want to share with you my setup um, for the month of November. As we're moving into the month of December, I like to kind of do these flip throughs to show you and share what I was up to in the month of November, my November setup, um, and how it all went down. So let's get into it. Grab your coffee, grab your planner, grab your stickers, grab your pens, grab your washi, and let's get started. So for November, I went with this Happy Planner cover. This is from the Fitness Planner. It's the yoga pose one. Beautiful. I love it so much. And um, let's get into frame here. My cover page, I went for a constellation theme. Just have the calendars in the beginning here. And this is my uh, perpetual calendar with my little bookmark here. And I use this so much. It is like, this is like ground zero for me. It's kind of messy because this is where everything goes. Like all my important stuff goes into here. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so as you can see, I fill it up quite quickly and they also have things going on up into April of 2022 but then the rest of the pages are blank. I just have some scrapbook paper uh, on the back of that and then some folders that have stationery, coloring sheets, stickers, I just stick whatever in them. Uh, sketchbook paper here in the back. I just, you know, I fill them with whatever I feel like filling them with. And then I have some scrapbook paper. I made this super cute scrapbook paper insert to kind of celebrate the fall season. I have my sticky dashboard here with a bunch of uh, Happy Planner and Daiso sticky notes. Love this so much. And then my table of contents for my solar system. So right now, I think I have 16 planners. I only have 15 written on here because I just got a new one. And this is just my table of contents. It kind of gives me an overview of what's going on in my solar system. 
I love it so much. And then here is my fall bucket list. I had a lot of fun putting this together and checking off a bunch of these. I And actually, I just got a cinnamon broom and it's currently in my room here. And um, it smells so good. Oh, I still want it. I still... I, I, I didn't get a chance to visit a haunted house, but I might, you know, it's not winter yet. We still have about 25 days or so before winter, so that's a good amount of time. I do hope to check a, a bunch of these off my, um, off my bucket list. So that's my bucket list. Um, another scrapbook divider. And then this is my hourly schedule section. Um, this is for when I want to have a little bit more structure on the daily. So I just have a bunch of Mickey Mouse daily schedule sheets from the Happy Planner. And these are my favorite daily agenda sheets that Happy Planner has put out because it does have the like the time section. Like it has 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. And I love that. I feel like they don't really have like the hourly schedule um, like in much of their paper craft. So I just have a bunch of sheets there for that. And then I have uh, my next uh, section, which is my first planner section. And I'm gonna try to share with you every single planner that I use. I have them right here next to me. And this is the first planner in my solar system. She is the smallest planet. She's a skinny mini. She's so tiny. And I had a lot of fun with this planner, but I can't wait for the end of the year to f and to like finish using this because skinny minis kind of annoy me. <laughs> They're just so small and tiny that it's kind of hard for me to like really expand with my creativity. And it's nice for like you know, it's nice because very little will fill it up and so you feel accomplished. It's very easy to fill up a, a, a weekly spread in this, but I I like working on a big scale. I've always been someone who like likes to paint like three by four foot canvases. I've never been someone who works on the mini scale. So this is my prayer planner and I don't really use like the, the monthly overview pages but the weeklies, I'll just write a prayer. I, I really liked this one. Um, this one was like a honeybee and rilakkuma and honey theme. But I just write a prayer every single day. And it just helps me to be like spiritually grounded and kind of like put my wishes out into the universe. You know how they say like from your lips to God's ear. And it kind of helps me to know exactly what I want and what I need. So that's my prayer planner. I've had a lot of fun with it. Like I said, I'm very happy with it, but, and this one's been pretty experimental for me. I used to write like affirmations in it and then I changed from affirmations to prayers. And um, I'm, I really liked it. I, I do want to continue this in the next year in 2022, but I think I'm going to merge it into my overall like spirituality planner, which I do have like a spirituality and faith planner in my other happy planner. And I feel like I can combine this prayer, little mini prayer um, planner into that planner. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that in the new year and merge those together to and merge those two together and not have like a separate skinny mini. And then we just have another scrapbook divider. I just make these scrapbook dividers to separate each section um, from each other so that I have a little bit of organization. This section is my sleep section, so I have my bedtime routine. I definitely want to update this. And then I just have sleep logs. I'm very, very serious about my sleep, and I'm very interested in how my sleep affects my mood and my energy levels throughout the day. So this is my latest sleep log here. And I've definitely changed like how I've set it up and how I formatted it throughout the months. And I, this is like my latest evolution, really enjoy it. And this is just a bookmark for my sleep. And then we have my first classic section. This is my academic section. I'm a graduate student at UC San Diego and this is like my main work section. 
So I just have like some scrapbook paper on the back of it. This is my fall 2021 class schedule, which I've said this a million times, but I don't take classes anymore, but I structure my time in classes so that like I, I set a, a, a designated time throughout the day to do like X, Y, and Z projects. So that way it kind of gives me some kind of, you know, consistency and I just like feeling like I have classes and setting up my class schedule. And I just have like the visual representation of that on the back. And then we just have scrapbook paper separating that stuff from the actual planner pages. This is the November overview. I just have important dates, deadlines, things at the bottom here, as well like as well as like a goal checklist for the month. And then this planner is actually um I use this planner for my planner pages for this section. This is the Mickey Mouse See the Beauty in Everyday Planner. And I love this one so much. I love it so much. And, um, and actually this divider here is not from this planner. It's actually from an extension pack. But I had this, uh, this divider left like i used all the other uh, months in that extension pack except for this one and so i just went ahead and used this divider but i ended up using the pages like the like the guts the pages from this planner here um if that makes any sense so this is the monthly overview and i cannot believe that we are so close to the end of the academic quarter and yeah, it's pretty simple. I just kind of went with a fall theme there. And then this was a lot of fun. I used um, a recollection sticker book that had this Woodland Friends theme. And then this was a citrus theme here. And this, <laughs> this week, this week was the busiest week of my life. I had um, my relatives, my sister and sister-in-law in town visiting it was my mom's birthday so we had birthday celebrations and then i was moving this entire week so as you can see it's absolutely empty my little to-do list here on the side is absolutely blank because i was just barely doing the minimum that week and that's why i love this planner so much because it has this little section on the side for a to-do list I love it so much. So that that's that. And this is last week here. Um, so I was getting back into work and such, but definitely still really shaky. As you can see, it's pretty blank and empty because I just wasn't doing as much for work. Neither was I in my planner as much. So that's that. But I'm so excited to like settle down into my new house, get into my new routine, and start really using my planner to its full capacity again. And I actually uh, have uh, another week in here. This is the, you know, the last two days in November and the first couple of days in December, and then the December overview here. So um, I'm going to just keep this in the planner when I start setting up for December. So there it is, my academic section. Then we have a scrapbook paper dividing the next section. So this is actually a new introduction into my solar system. These pages are from this planner. This is the Painterly Pastels Color Block Vertical Planner. It's so absolutely gorgeous. I got this for next year to be one of the planners that I'm gonna use for next year. And so uh, I wasn't gonna use it until um, until January, until the new year started. And because it's an 18 month planner though, I do have some pages in here that I wasn't gonna use, but I ended up getting a part-time job in the graduate division as a communications and marketing intern, uh, particularly focused on outreach of non-traditional students to grad school. And so I was like, okay, time to get another planner <laughs> or time to use another planner because it's very different work from my graduate research and so I definitely wanted to separate the two so this um this is gonna be the planner for that job and I didn't start the job until the 22nd and as you can see like all the pages up to then are blank until I started the job and then as you can see here um I've been slowly 
uh, kind of getting into the routine of, you know, um, planning for that position. So there we have that, then the December overview, and then scrapbook paper separating the next section. This planner section is my social justice section. It's my community service section. I do a lot of outreach and nonprofit work, uh, particularly tied to uh, two organizations I'm part of. And these pages come from this planner. This is the Passion, Creativity, and Dreams vertical planner. And I love this one so much. <clears throat> So I just have the November overview here, which I use to kind of give me an overview of the projects that I'm working on. This is the November calendar. I just have here important meetings and such. And then this is the first week in November, not much going on. And then the second week of November, I did have a lot going on. And then things just kind of like fell apart <laughs> or I just wasn't in my planner or nor was I doing any of this work. Um, this week because I was I was so busy this week this week I was moving family was in town as I've said and yeah it was just so so crazy and then this was last week again still kind of like slowly getting back into my planner and I don't know if you noticed but for some reason I like using the colorful leopard sticker book as well as like those heels and hustle type sticker books like the boss babe like the chic babe sticker books I like that look um for this planner I don't know why but um yeah so we have just this little bookmark here and then the December overview before we move on to the next planner section and I have my scrapbook divider, my November overview. And honestly, I don't use this November overview for this section. So I might just like not have this here for December, not sure. But this is the colorful leopard aligned vertical planner. This is the planner that these pages come from. And I love it so much. I love the colorful leopard line. It's so gorgeous. So the November monthly calendar view, I don't really, um, I haven't really like gotten into a rhythm with it yet. I wanna kind of write down the most important like uh, current events that happen in the monthly calendar view. So, oh, back up. So this section is my world news section. It's where I motivate myself um, to listen to the news, inform myself about current events, and then journal about the current events. And this helps me, it motivates me to stay informed, to stay educated. I'm someone that tends to like not <laughs> listen to the news. And so this really helps me to like, you know, stay, stay in touch, stay in the know. So I just write down the most important news pieces that I read or listen to in that day. So the first two weeks I was really, really like into it. And then I just completely like stopped because moving and I've been kind of, you know, trying to get back into it as I've like settled down. So this is my current bookmark here. Yeah, I really enjoy this section. It's been really motivating me to stay informed. We have the December overview before we move on to my next section, which is my Ron Grong fitness section. And oof, this is from the Ron Grong fitness planner. This was my first happy planner ever. And she has a special place in my heart, but just love this one. And I always try to do like this, um, like this workout challenge for each month. And for the last couple of months, I have been neglecting it. I set it up and then I totally forget about it. But basically, um, <clears throat> I kind of set my, a challenge for myself at the beginning of the month where it's like I do a certain number of ab, booty, and arm workouts. And I used to try to do like seven per ab, booty, and arms per month. And that just was not happening. So I kind of reduced it to like five, five and seven. And again, it has just did not do it at all because I've just been so busy, but I want to return to this. I feel like in December, I'm going to finally like get back into my fitness, but yeah. So 
This is the monthly overview for November and I like to write down all the workouts that I do on the monthly as well as on the weeklies even though it's a bit redundant. I don't mind the redundancy. I just like looking back and seeing how my month went in terms of workouts. So there's that. And then I did not do any, I didn't use my planner like the first couple of days in November and then I got back into it. And as you can see, I really enjoy using this planner. But then when I'm not in it, I'm not in it. So again, this is the week <laughs> that was super busy. And then I started getting back into it. So um, yeah, so we're finally back into it. And actually, now that I'm here, I can write down a couple of things. Let's see, let me pull for my stickers. So Saturday, I actually, it was crazy. I was so busy Saturday. I was like running around doing a bunch of things and so I wasn't able to like really work out at least not the way that I wanted to work out. I didn't have like a super formal workout but I, I was like running around a lot like doing errands. I had to remulch the garden at my old place um, before moving out completely so I did that. I also went on a walk with Bugs, my dog, and so I did walk a lot, and my Fitbit, my steps were like crazy this day. So I'm gonna put this um, step count counter like right here to commemorate that. Um, I think I had like 21,000 steps or something. Uh, 21, let's put like 21, I don't know, 350. I think that's what it was. I had 21,000 steps that day, which is insane. And then I did go on a walk um, and it was the exact same walk that I did on Thursday. So it was 31 minutes long and I burned 175 calories and it was about 3,300 uh, steps for that walk. And then for breakfast, I had a breakfast burrito that I made. Burrito, and I think that might have been like mm, 300, 400, 500, 400, maybe like 750 calories. And then for lunch, I had just like um, the leftovers of that. And that was, let's see, that must have been like 300. And then I also had like some chocolates, like as snacks. And I think that was like 250 calories for that. And then for dinner, I had um, stir fried noodles. And I think that must have been like, 600 calories something like that I'm not too like uh, I don't really care about particulars so this is the November uh, no this is the December overview we're going back into the blue accents which uh, I'm gonna miss the pink accents that's one thing I don't like about this planner it alternates between like the pink accents and the blue accents and I don't blue is my least favorite color and um, I actually feel like <laughs> I feel like it's kind of like a sad color uh, I mean there's a reason why like people say they're feeling blue when they feel sad right so moving on to my next planner section this is my dashboard and this is my household section so these pages are from this planner the adventure awaits desert dreams saguaro fantasy happy planner and yeah i have a lot of fun with this one i try to use this section here as like a little photo collage section i'll take like pictures of my pets my home and i'll like put them here i haven't gotten around to doing that but maybe I'll, I'll be able to, um, to do that soon. And I also have my monthly goals here, which actually I did this one, I did this one, I did this, I did this, and I did this. So I did all my monthly goals. Wow. I like highlighting them and like putting a little check next to my goals. Um, 
to really make me feel absolutely like accomplished. And then this is the monthly overview here. Uh, this is anything that has to do with my household, my home, that affects my home life goes into here. And actually, um, this is no longer happening. So let's let's uh, cross it out. And I also have. I'm renting a room in my house, so I am like right now currently like showing the room to potential renters, and so I am showing it to some guy named Rick at six p.m. on Monday. Awesome. Okay, and then this was the first month in November. The second month in November, I went with a blue theme. <laughs> Nothing happened that week. And then this is me slowly getting back into, uh, into, um, into planning. And then actually, let me, let me check off some things here. So I did mulch the garden. Oh, why is this so weird? Uh, I, okay, I did. Okay, I st and then I still need to repot my cactus and schedule some appointments. Uh, oh, what's wrong with this pen? Why is it so weird? Something's wrong with this pen. It's not a. It's not really writing right. I don't know what's wrong with it. Ooh, it's so weird. This pen might have finally dried out. I might have to get rid of this pen. Yeah, this thing is not working. Anyways, uh, um, I did buy the dryer. Uh, I did buy the drawer knobs that I needed to get. So I'll check that off my list. Let's see. I did walk bugs yesterday. I did not do my makeup. Did not floss. And all right. So let's let's see what else. Um, I did get. Let me look. I did get my tea tree shampoo, so I'm gonna highlight that um, and then check it off. Again, I like highlighting and checking. And let's see, I did my mulch. I also just went ahead and mulched um, on Saturday, so I got that. Um, and then I have a couple of tasks left today. I need to organize my intimates basket. So that's all like my panties, bras, I have them on a basket and I got to organize it because it's kind of getting a little bit messy and I got to wash books. And I also want to repot my cactus and my prickly pear. Got to do that. I also want to hang, um, hang my painting so i just moved into a new house so everything is still kind of like getting organized so i gotta do that and also i don't mind writing tasks down on other days if i don't have room on like one day like i don't want to write more down here on sunday even though it is currently sunday so i just i know i have some room here so i'm gonna go ahead and write and write it down on the saturday box but I, I understand that it's not Saturday, it's Sunday, but you know, it doesn't really matter. I also want to vacuum my room and I think we're just gonna uh, leave it like that. Um, I think I have enough tasks to do today. All right, so that's my household section. I love it so much, love the dashboard. Then we have my December overview and then this is um my garden planner and i actually don't separate it out from my household section like i don't have a scrapbook divider separating these two sections because i feel like my garden is attached to my house and it needs its own section but it doesn't need like its own scrapbook section if you know what i mean and this planner is actually from this classic planner the feel all the feels planner and this helps me keep on top of my garden and such. I love it so much. And when I got the news that I had to move from my current house uh, because my landlord passed away and he decided to sell the house and we did not want to buy that house. Um, when we got the news that we had to move and find a new house, I 
had to like take down my entire garden and basically I wasn't planting and I wasn't working in my garden because I had to you know tear down my entire garden and like return it to the state you know return the backyard to the state it was in before I moved in which was like there was nothing in the backyard there was no garden <laughs> so I had to tear down the fence around the garden I had to tear down all my garden plants I did keep like three or four jalapeno peppers um, that I didn't want to just like destroy because they were still, you know, they were still healthy. I took some of my herbs as well that were really healthy and I feel like they could have, they would survive the transport, like the uprooting and the transport. And so I was not in my garden planner for like two months because I just wasn't planting, I wasn't sowing, I wasn't harvesting i was just destroying my garden so i wasn't in my garden planner at all for the last two months but as i moved into my new house and my new house has a huge backyard with like you know so much like space for planting and gardening i'm really excited to get back into my gardening planner so i just popped in already the month of december here so that it's ready to go um, for the upcoming month so that is my garden planner excited to get back into it and lastly my budget planner this is just a monthly overview and lastly we just have the november divider and i'll show you the november um monthly overview this is what my november monthly overview looks like i have here like all of my bills that i need to pay as well as when i like buy things like gas or groceries because those are two like major you know um major expenses throughout the month and i just have like online orders an account like check-in and yeah this is what that looks like and then um the rest of the sheets are like uh you know weekly spending and such and yeah i'm just gonna not show those but um yeah in the back here i just have a envelope with some like important receipts and a folder like a budget folder um just in case i want to tuck anything in there and then lastly i just have some um random filler paper from the happy planner that i just stick in the back here in case i want to reach for it and that is the end of my mega happy planner um part one <laughs> these are the inner planets my uh, mercury through mars and then you know, part two of my solar system, the uh, Jupiter through Pluto and out to beyond, that all goes in another planner. That's this baby right here. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed flipping through my happy planner with me, my mega happy planner, my Franken planner. I love it so much. It is perfect for me. Like I love how I can blend like organization and practicality with artistry and creativity. It really does help me and motivate me to like live my best life and be the best person I can be. And so I just, I'm in love with the Happy Planner and I'm excited to set up the month of December. So make sure you stay tuned for that video when it comes out. All right, everyone, let me know how you have been doing this past month. What have you been up to? What's been the most exciting thing in your life? I would love to know. Like, I really, really do appreciate um, getting to know you all. Um, I think that's so important and special. So, yeah, just drop me a line in the comments down below. Let's be friends. And I will catch you in my next video. Hasta luego, cuties. Bye.